Hey guys, in this video, I'll share with you whether you should uh, invest in crypto. And a lot of people ask, Alex, do you invest in crypto? Do you have crypto? I do have crypto. I do have crypto, but I just use it uh, more like as a diversification uh, vehicle, as a, you know, kind of like having uh, things in different places because, you know, US dollar may not be as stable uh, because they're printing just like so many dollars and give away to people. So uh, for me, it's more like diversification, but a lot of people they see crypto as like this, like get rich, like fast or quick scheme, right? Or like get like kind of like they're looking at it from the perspective of this thing will make me like rich. And 100% it will, 100% it will, some people will, will become rich. But what I think people don't understand completely is that, I mean, for example, there are certain things that, you know, entrepreneurs do and entrepreneur can only do so many things well, right? For example, someone bur purchases like crypto at like $1, then something happens and crypto goes to like $50. So entrepreneur feels themselves as a fucking genius, right? I mean, wow, I'm like a genius. I bought it at the right time. And like now he or she like tries to justify to, to himself or herself, hey, I'm so smart that I have um, made, you know, this like decision now they're trying to replicate it. And most of the time, most of the times they get busted because the same success they cannot repeat and they get emotional, they get nervous and they lose all the money. So this is what happens in casinos as well, right? Like a lot of people who win, trying to win more and they lose. Investing in crypto from my perspective, at least how I'm seeing, like I'm investing for the long term, right? Like if I have certain capital in crypto, like I buy like the big coins, like the, uh, the Ethereum and like Bitcoin. I don't really like, I'm not going to touch them for like the next few years. Like I'm just, I'm just keeping them there. And if they go busted, if they go to zero, it won't be like very pleasant, but I don't care. Right. So I wouldn't invest more than I would care. I remember I had very like a uh, painful experience when I was a kid, when I was, uh, there was a, there was a soccer uh, tournament, right? And there was like, uh, the Brazil was, was playing against like Uruguay or Paraguay. And I remember Brazil as, as a kid, I remember they won the, the world championship. They were pretty good. And so I was thinking, geez, I mean, Brazil's got to win. And I was, I, I, I bet like a few dollars, <laughs> like I borrowed from the friend. I didn't have money, so I borrowed the money to, to, to bet on this game. And I bet on Brazil. Brazil is going to win, I mean, for sure. I mean, they're so strong. They were so strong, at least. Fuck it, they'll win. And um, they had draw, right? They had like 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and I lost, I lost the money. And I was so shocked. I mean, that was such shocking experience for me. I still remember it. And I borrowed like those, those like, few dollars. Cause I didn't have money. I was, I was still a kid. And... I don't know, since then, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bat with something that I'm not okay with uh, losing. So if I'm not okay losing like a million dollars, like betting on crypto or certain projects, I'm not doing it. And I mean, that's, that's one of my, like, that's one of my like investment principles. Um, I mean, you might follow, you, you didn't have to follow it. You, you do your own thing, but uh, this is what I do. I mean, there are some people just going all in and buying crypto and that crypto blows up and makes them like, you know, tens of millions of dollars. I mean, that happens, right? That happens all the time. So if you're that type of personality, you want to go like all in and it's either like you bust it all or you win big. Uh, if that's your personality, that's awesome. Just just go for it. You know, some people will get wealthy from, from like crypto. But if you look at it from the perspective uh, and I, I know I know some people that are kind of like more like day trading crypto and I mean they're they're doing good returns but those those good returns again you know everyone is a genius in the bull market like everyone's like you buying something at one dollar and like tomorrow it's like ten dollars like you might think that you are smart but you're not smart it's just the market is is going that direction hey guys 
Uh, people have been asking me, how we scale to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook? And we have a very sophisticated solution for this that I want to share with you, but it's, it's just like too valuable to give away for free. So if you guys want this solution, just book a call with one of my team members and we'll show you exactly what it is and how it works and we'll see if that's a good fit uh, for you and for your business. So just book a call with my team member, we'll share it with you so you can scale your business to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook, without having inconsistency and with high profitability. So just book a call with my team and I'll see you there. So if you think about it like from that perspective then it, it becomes different because you realize that it's not you it's just the market and no one knows i mean no one like truly knows when when to sell or when to buy i mean maybe there is some like insider information or like i don't know like but the mostly people don't know mostly people are just gambling mostly people have opinions i'm i'm in this like a group on on telegram and everyone is so like i mean people sharing some very like smart things but you think like are those are those things like really smart or those are kind of like just the opinions of people that think you know that their point of view is right and the second question that i ask myself okay so and that's a question pretty much for everyone if you let's say you want to learn like e-commerce right you want to learn i mean whatever topic like okay so how much how much you've actually made using that information and that is a big qualifier if someone like is talking like very smart things about crypto but they haven't made you know just like even like few million few millions like with you know betting on crypto i wouldn't i probably wouldn't like i probably wouldn't listen to that person because like i mean that's kind of like one of the qualifiers if you know like if you know that stuff why don't you do it why don't you like so for example if people are talking about like e-commerce, why they don't do it? Like why? I mean, like if you know everything, and I mean that applies a lot of things. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, it applies just kind of like because of the low self-esteem. People don't believe that they can do it, or you know some other reasons. But if you take advice from someone, that person is better be knowing their stuff, right? And then and and should be where you want to be for example if you taking fitness advice from someone who's like overweight then probably you will end up overweight as well this is just my point of view on on crypto just taking advice from people who really knows and know their stuff and that predicated how much money they have made with it now the problem was even like you know those people that have made money with crypto is that they might have made money by the accident, right? The same way as we have like just talked, they might have invested into something that is just got rich by accident, you know, and that happens all the time in those like new markets. So, but take advice from people who really know their stuff that at least have made some money with, with what they know. Um, then I wouldn't bet more than I'm willing to lose. So let's say you have like a budget, let's say you have like those like, Let's say you have like small budget, like fifty thousand dollars or something, like hundred thousand dollars, and you're just willing to bet everything, and you're willing to lose it if you will. If you will need to lose it, like if everything will go bust, like that's fine. Your life will not change in any major way. Um, then it's fine, you know. Then it's fine. Um, if you're, if you're again, if you're like very like risk a risky person you you like to go all in and uh then just, just do it but for most people don't make those decisions whether if you are not going to do them and another one is like just long term because i i talked to a few people that kind of like day trading but you know they're they all say that crypto as a um, kind of like alternative to the currencies make sure you follow me on instagram it's alex top three app at the end because i share behind the scenes strategies and things we do in our eight figure business and also uh, in my personal life so make sure you follow me and i'll see you there it will probably like function in, in some capacity it will grow because like a lot of people are using it some of it has like real like practical like you know application so if you invest in some coins but Again, you invest some money that you're not totally like reliant on, 
and you invest for long term, let's say two, three, five years, it doesn't matter what happens um, with the market. Maybe market goes down, a market goes up. It doesn't matter for you because again, you're not dependent on those funds. But if it goes up, it can make you like pretty wealthy, right? So if you make that those kind of like decisions, then long term you will win. And then dedicated, I mean, generally dedicating majority of your time and effort to the stuff that you really know, to the stuff that if you understand e-commerce, just do e-commerce. Like why not, do, why not doing like e-commerce if you understand it, if you know how to make it work. If you've built like seven figure business, why not just see what like, and you couldn't build, let's say eight figure, like why not focus on it maybe for a bit more time and figure out how to make an eight figure business. Why not like get help from someone who built like eight figure business and like, and get it to eight figure because you already have some experience. So the crypto for me is like, let's say you want to do crypto. Now it would be predicated on doing some things that you've never done, right? And that's initially that's exciting, but that's a big learning curve, right? So whatever new you're starting, you're starting from like ground zero and then obviously over time you become better, but that might take like months or years before you will, will become better. So if you're good with like e-commerce, you do good with something, just keep milking it, right? Keep milking, keep exploiting it um, because like you already start with, with a position of experience. So this is it guys, that's my, that's, these are my thoughts on on crypto, all of these things. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Curious to, to hear what you think. I might be like absolutely fucking wrong. I mean, I don't care. There might be people, oh, fuck you, Alex. I mean, I've, I've made like $50 million crypto. Uh, you making your like eight figure numbers, like working very hard to haven't worked like in years and I made like 50 mil. So <laughs> if there are some of you guys uh, there like this, uh, I don't mind feel free to express yourself and uh thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next video like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one